It's late in the evening, glass on the side. I'm here with Mary O'Flaherty from Chic Boutique, who's the main sponsor of Ladies' Day, and our main judge, the beautiful Pippa O'Connor. I'm just going to ask the girls what exactly they're looking for on the day. Mary, first, your association. 25 years, folks, that Mary has been associated with the uh, Ladies' Day here. So, Mary, tell us what exactly you're looking for and why you have been such an avid supporter of Listow Races. Well, first of all, I like to fly the flag of the independent retailer. That is my raison d'etre, almost. And for 25 years, I've been doing that. And I'm very, very proud to have been associated with this long sponsorship. Today, we're looking for something seasonal, something bang on trend, and something that says, I have gone out there, I have supported the independent retailers of Ireland, I have spent a little bit of money, I have mixed things with more expensive, less expensive, but I have actually gone out there and spent my hard-earned cash and we're keeping the independent retailers on the road. Oh, super. That's a great answer, Mary. Now, Pippa, moving over to you. Wow, you look amazing. I'm just, I'm looking, I'm going to draw attention, Ryan, if you can just get Pippa's beautiful headpiece. Pippa, where did you get your beautiful headpiece? My headpiece is from Chic Boutique, from Mary's Boutique. Yes, so um, I told Mary what I was wearing and she instantly said that she had a hat to match. So it was perfect. I was delighted. You see, I think just going on what Mary has said, this is what you don't find in the high street. Independent retailers, they they listen to what you have to say. I think it's very true. And you're a great ambassador for Irish fashion, Pippa. You must be delighted to be asked down to judge today. Yeah, absolutely. And I love going to any race day and especially coming down to Kerry. And I've been to Listowel races before and I was absolutely delighted to be asked to come down and to judge with Dahi. So I was just thrilled because I know that the style in Kerry is amazing as well. So I'm really excited to see it. Great. So, well, listen, thank you so much, ladies. And we look forward to seeing the winner and having a little chat with the winner later on. Thank you. Tell me, Zoe, how do you feel about the style here today for your own age? You're 15, yes? Yeah. Just finished her junior cert. Tell me, what do you feel about the style here today from your own age profile? Well, I was actually walking around and just taking lots of pictures and asking people would they like their picture to be taken. And loads of them I really, like, really, really want to have it. So it's good that, like, they have the confidence to do that kind of thing. There's a lot of kind of shorter dresses, but there's a lot of, like, I kind of approve of the people who kind of wear flats and are not falling over the place. But I think that it's really growing and that, like, I've been here for the past few years, and especially this year, there's a whole, like, way more teens here, which is brilliant to see. So tell me this, Zoe, you're working here today. You had to get the day off school. Obviously much better than school. Obviously, but uh, if anybody asks, I had a family commitment. Um, I wasn't here because uh, it's fourth year, so I think it's I can count this as work experience. So hopefully there won't be any teachers here, so that would be a bit awkward. But so, tell me about your own headpiece and what you're wearing today. Um, well, you're obviously a lover of black. Well, clearly, I think I got it from my mom. But um, I feel kind of bad that I'm wearing High Street, but I'm wearing Catherine Kelly headpiece. And then the rest of my outfit in its entirety is Topshop. So I feel kind of bad, but hey, it's... Well, hang on a second. You wear it well and you Thank look beautiful. You. Thank you. I like it. Great to see you, Zoe. Great to see Zoe in the flesh. Woo!